Hi hey everyone, today we'll be making this banana nut muffin with coffee crumbs. It's a little bit healthier since I'm making it with whole wheat flour and there's fresh bananas and nuts. Let's get started by melting the butter. Put the instant coffee in the butter and stir it to make sure it melts in. It's okay to have a little bit of the instant coffee floating around on the top. In a separate bowl, mix it out of the whole wheat flour, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Crumble up big pieces with your hands. Drizzle half of the butter over a fork into the mixture. Mix it together with a fork. Pour in the rest of the butter. Mix again with the fork. This is the texture I like to get, but if you want bigger crumbs, mix it less. I have three ripe bananas for this recipe. Go ahead and peel them and put them into a big bowl. Mash up the bananas, use all that stress you've got. Add in the sugar, add in the cinnamon, add in the salt, and mix. I'm using a stand mixer, but feel free to do it by hand. Add in the eggs one by one and mixing in between each. Add in the oil and vanilla extract. I found this banana essence in my kitchen, so I'm going to use one or two drops. In a medium-sized bowl, mix together the baking soda and the flour. Gradually add in the dry ingredients. Scrape down the edges to get all the flour incorporated. Add in some vanilla yogurt to give it more flavor and a moist cake. Chop up some walnuts. Add them into the batter. Scrape down the edges. I lined it beforehand and pour the batter in. I'm using a one third cup. Give the crumb topping a quick whisk. And sprinkle on top of the batter. 
Be sure to give a generous amount since after it's done baking, some of the crumbs fall off. Bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 18 minutes. Microwave the milk for about 10 seconds. Don't go for the full 30 seconds or it'll bubble over. Add an instant coffee to the milk and stir. Add it to the powdered sugar. Whisk until it turns smooth. Lay a piece of parchment under the cooling rack. The muffins are done and they have cooled a little bit in the pan so I'm going to take them out and put them on the cooling rack. Drizzle the icing over. I made these in the evening and I waited till this morning to actually eat them with a nice cup of milk. And they look absolutely delicious with that light coffee drizzle and those coffee crumbs. Thanks so much for watching.